everybody, welcome back, and today, today I'm going to be showing you how to, you know, drive in Flightline. And for this video, I'm going to be using an Airbus A330 for this video. So yeah, a lot of people, you know, it's pretty difficult riding, you know, like driving this. So first, let's go to the controls here that you might see in the game. Now let's go to engine for E, or you can just do space for the quick actions here. And then throttle up is W, throttle down is S, the throttle max is Q, which is actually everything. Throttle idle means all the engines gone. Brakes is B, pushback is V, which I'll demonstrate. Rudder left is Z, and X is right. You won't really need these, and you need lights, and then you need landing gear, which are really important. Spoilers are really important as well. Flaps and call the jetway. So if you don't know the jetway, I'm gonna go G. The jetway is this thing. So let's you know go here and let's start up the engines. So where you see you can start in the up the engines and we're gonna have this thing. Now we're gonna be waiting. So now we are going to be waiting until all engines also. In the next video, I'm gonna be explaining to you how to work the autopilot because you know autopilot's there. I'm gonna tell you how to work it out. Have that engine. So while so you might want to have a really good point. So at a 13.9, you want to, you know, go backwards. So 13.9, okay. We're right there. Now we're going reverse because I'm pushing back. These were pushed back. Remember that. These were pushed back. So yeah. So now we might want to, you know. Yeah. That's a cool angle. So in this video, I'm using Cathay Pacific. Yeah. So we have a Ryanair over there, and it's a Boeing 738. This is an Airbus A330. Okay, then like click on the screen to get your controller thingy, and then you know go you know this way. So if you go down, I mean the plane will go down. But if you go up, it will go up. Turning will be exactly the same. The rudder is really important in the air because that will make you turn. Cause if we just go there, if we just turn in the air, then you'll just probably hit your wing and crash. You don't want to do that. So yeah, get that one done. Now I want to do B again. We're at 19.6. That is max. To B for brakes. B. Then all you want to do now is go to W for throttle up. Don't go all the way. If you press Q, then you're gonna probably crash because that's all the way. That's for you know. Don't do that. So now it's gonna go W like that. So go into this like third line here. So go down to the third line. That will that will make sure you're on proper speed. So yeah. So go on the third. So like go on the second line over there. So that's the first one. That's the second one. That's the third, and that's the fourth, and that is takeoff speed. So yeah. There are two engines here. The next video I'm going to be showing you the 747 with KLM. Which, you know, has four, because it has four engines on it. So, yeah. I'm gonna get that going. Also, this time you can actually control the thing. But I recommend do not fly right now. So, now you want to slow down to the first one. To the first line and do B for the brakes. And, you know, click on the screen for the controlling. So, yeah. So, now, also do F for 40 degrees for flaps. Do F until you get 40 degrees, and then we turn. Because you can see the speed here. This is the altitude. Altitude 0, because we're on the ground. Okay. Now, we're on 0, 4. Yeah. So, there we are. Okay. Now, I'm just going to wait, and boom. Now, we're brakes. Now, we are here. Now, one last thing we need to do. You can... We also need to go on S, so you can stop over here. So, you don't, you know overrun the entire runway R is for you know spoilers which I recommend you don't really do while flying but you know you can do whatever you want but we're gonna retract that for a second but this time we are you know going to fly and then we're gonna you know we're gonna do it for this video we're gonna do it at port landing so yeah let's do Q and run full throttle let's run full throttle so now you want to be really careful here, or otherwise you know you're gonna crash your plane. Make sure no one's on the runway. Okay. Now click on the screen. You got your controls. Now you want to take off as usual. Go up. 
Yeah, go up. See, this is the altitude thing. Okay, now, now go A, A. This will reduce the thing. So reduce the altitude thingy. Then go S. Yeah, now the spoilers will decrease the speed. No one breaks. And then the reverse thrust will come on. So, it'll come soon. That's weird. It didn't come. But usually the reverse thruster will come. And just like that, you have stopped. And this is your first tutorial. So, yeah. And then you can see the reducing speed to, yeah. So, yeah, there you go. This is for today's video. Next video, I'm going to be showing you, you know, how you can actually take off. And then you can add, and then in the third video, I'm going to be showing you how you can contact ATC, the traffic controller. So, yeah, because we're going to be using that at Typhon Bridge, which is technically, you know, which technically is the busiest place and where the best spot you will find, you know, all the air traffic controllers. So, yeah, I hope you enjoy. Bye.